I'm Kelly, and my partner Dawn is behind the camera. Hello! And we are the Diamond Dotting Divas. Dawn and I have been friends for a long time. We go on a lot of adventures. We always have fun. Dawn dragged me to China, so I made her take trapeze lessons. Fair's fair, I say. When you get a Diamond Dotting Diva a palette from us, it's going to come in this plastic white sleeve. You're going to take it out. You're going to lay it out flat. Everything you need comes in your kit. So you get your canvas, you get your diamonds, and you get your tools. You want to take your canvas and you want to lay it out flat, kind of smooth it down. You can put a heavy book on it or sometimes I'll mask and tape the corners down. It's up to you, but they do flatten out pretty quickly. And then in this package are going to be all your diamonds that you need for your canvas. Uh, John and I have probably done 50 of these. We've never run out of diamonds. So don't worry that you're, you're going to use too many because you won't. The only time you might run out of diamonds is if you put the wrong color in. So your diamonds come in this package like this. And they're all labeled and they go along with your chart, which is here. It's on both sides of your canvas. And so your, their, your diamonds are coordinated to these numbers. What I'll do, because I'm anal, is I will take a Sharpie and I will write on the package what the number is. That way I don't have to keep looking at the canvas. I can just look at the package. So for instance, number 14 is going to be F. So I will go up here. I will write an F on here with my Sharpie. And then what I normally do is cut them apart and lay them on the table so that I can grab one right away. I'm not having to dig through them. You also get these tools. You'll get a tray and a dotting tool and a little square of wax. The key with this little square of wax is it has a little clear plastic on both sides. You want to take that plastic off. You can punch on that thing all day long and no wax will come through. So you want to make sure you take that plastic off. And if you don't, don't feel bad because it took me about 10 minutes to figure that out. So I'm giving you this tip for free. The goal is to fill this little cylinder at the end of your diamond dotting tip with wax. So you're just going to push down in your wax a couple of times. And then I do put the, li the little plastic back on to keep it fresh. But it lasts a long time. I've easily done four or five canvases with this little square of wax. So then you have your tray. And then I'm going to use the, this I'm going to use is number 10, which I put an A on it. What I like to do is I start left to right and I work my way up. Some people will do a whole square. Some people will do each color. It, you can do whatever you want to do. We're not the boss of your diamond dotting. What you need to be careful of is this whole canvas is quite sticky. So you don't want to whip this cover off and then lay your arm on while you're dotting and then you're going to be stuck to it. So what some people will do, I just pull up the corners as I go. What some people will do is they'll take parchment paper and cut it in squares and lay it on their canvas. And then that way they don't have to deal with this little piece of plastic. You can get uh, parchment paper at the dollar store. So it's not an expensive um, extra product. What you're going to do, the key to, for me, the tip is when you open these packages to cut on the angle. If you cut all the way across your beads, when you lay this package down, when you're not using it, they go all over. They Diamond dots want to be free, so they will lose that package. So just cut the corner, and then if you pour too many out, it's easy to take your tray and tip them back into your package. So I'm going to pour a few out. Again, this is number A, and I'm just starting with that because that's what's down here on the bottom. Now, your, your, dot, your diamonds have a round side and a flat side. You want to tap your tray or shake your tray so that they are sitting right. You want to pick them up round side because obviously the flat side is going to go into your canvas. I'm going to pull up this corner, and this is A, so I'm going to push it right down into A. I'm going to pick up, is my hand in the way? I'm going to pick up another one and go down. That, ladies and gentlemen, is all there is to it. It is not rocket science. If it was, Dawn and I wouldn't be doing it. Pick it up, push it down into your canvas. Now, if you can see, the, if you pull it in the wrong spot or it's wonky, you can take your tool and kind of shove them around. It's not, they're not stuck in there forever. So you're just going to go 
like I said, you're just going to pick them up. Oh, pick that one up wrong. Again, the trick is to tap it or shake it so that it's round side up and then just pick them up and you just go along according to your chart. It's that easy. What you want to do when you get finished, when the whole thing is finished, is you want to take your husband beater. I mean your rolling pin. I would never do that to my you can take a rolling pin, you can take a book, whatever you want. You wanna roll across your canvas a couple of times with some pressure. In case you have two diamonds that are sitting like this, or they're wonky, it will flatten them out. If someone isn't stuck down very well, that will help stick them down. So you just wanna do that a couple of times. Once you're finished with your diamond dotting, there are several ways you can finish them off. Look on our Facebook page at Diamond Dotting Divas for all the fun examples that Dawn has made, there's a pillow, there's a tote bag, there's going to be a tray. Um, you can put them in a regular frame. You can put them in a floating frame. There's a lot of things you can do with them. If you're not going to put them behind glass, what we suggest is that you seal it with Mod Podge. You want to get a little thing of high gloss Mod Podge, mix half Mod Podge and half water, and just brush it on with a paintbrush and let it dry. That will seal your diamonds in. So if you're carrying your cute tote bag, one doesn't go flinging off. You don't want that, God forbid. So that's another way to finish it off. If you're just gonna put it in a frame, you don't really have to do that because it's behind glass. This is our succulent hearts, which we just got back in. Now this is a rather big canvas, so I kind of cut it down. This is a 12 by 12 frame. I wanted it to fit in this frame. It was actually a little bit bigger, but I just cut it down. Sometimes the canvases are, are different oddball -y sizes. So the best thing to do for that, if you want to frame it, is to put it in a floating frame, which you can get at Michael's. They're a little bit pricey, but you can use your 40% off coupon. Um, so, that, so that's just another way to do it. And again, or you can, if your husband's handy, he could make a frame. If you have any questions, or you can email us at diamonddottingdivas at yahoo.com. You can also message us on our Facebook page. We check it pretty regularly. Um, if you are on our email list, you get first crack when we get new product in. We give the emailers a 24-hour head start before we put it on uh, the city websites or the Facebook. The problem is a lot of our product comes from overseas and sometimes it's a one-shot deal. So we might have this one now, but we won't be able to get it back. So if there's something you want, get it now. It's a great project to do with your kids during this when you're stuck at home for this quarantine and isolation. They're great time savers. It's very relaxing. You can watch TV, you can have a conversation. It's a great hobby, which is why we love it and why we got addicted. Um, we just got some stuff in today. So we got a couple of new ones. Um, again, the problem is, is when it comes from overseas, it's two to four weeks for us to restock if we're even able to. So again, not trying to be Joe Salesman, but if there's something you want, you got to grab it now. At this point, our, our uh, canvases are still $12 or two for 20. We're getting a lot of increases in shipping. So in the future, we might have to go up a couple of bucks, but right now we're stuck at that price. So again, load up. Who knows how long we'll be stuck at home? Although if I'm stuck any longer, I'm gonna need butter to butter my sides to get through the door. But that's not your problem. <laughs> again, thanks for watching. I hope it's been informative. If you need anything, let us know. Thank you. Bye. Bye everybody, have a good day.